when keeper Detlef Baumung calls them, it doesn't take long before the new residents of the Döberitz Heath all come running. The Zhivalski horses, a wild breed native to Mongolia, arrive first. They're followed by European bison, wild and shy creatures from the same family as domestic cattle. But like the wild horses, they're voracious eaters and adapted to life in the wilderness. They're very robust, very tough. Unlike domestic cattle, they can spend the entire year outdoors without needing shelter or extra food. They get along splendidly with the food available here in the heath. They're ideal partners for us when it comes to landscape preservation. The Dubritz Heath is located just a few kilometers from Berlin, not far from Tegel Airport. For over a century, military exercises were conducted here, first by Prussian soldiers and later by occupying Soviet troops. Now the Zielmann Foundation has turned the 2,000 hectare military training ground into a nature preserve. What's unique about it is that the live firing often caused brush fires, and these created the ideal conditions for large areas of heath to develop. The habitat was just right. It's a habitat which should stay that way, without human intervention. That's why the wild horses and European bison were introduced here. Known as mega herbivores, these large plant-eating animals prevent the heath becoming overgrown with trees. The bison in particular simply remove any young trees blocking their path. They don't push them over. They go in here with their horns and then turn them around. It's pretty impressive. They play around with them. You can always tell where the larger herds have been by what they've knocked down. They're supposed to do that, but you can always see where they've been. The idea is to protect nature and biodiversity with very little money and personnel. Around 50 kilometers south of Berlin is one of the region's few lime marshes. It's home to plant and animal species found almost nowhere else. That's because the swampland has disappeared. We've lost lots of swampland due to drainage. 200 years ago, the state of Brandenburg still had over 200,000 hectares of intact and growing marshes. Today, there are just a few thousand hectares left. In the middle of this one is a small herd of Asian water buffalo. They've been brought here to graze and eat unwanted plant species. Not all conservationists think it's wise to have Asian buffalo protecting German marshes. But the project's initiators view it as a pragmatic solution worth trying. Nature conservation is also in a state of flux. When environmental factors change, when many areas are globalized, we conservationists need to search for ways to deal with these influences. The water buffalo provide a way to preserve domestic plant species and preserve natural habitats for other animal species too. A habitat in which orchids grow once again, thanks to the water buffalo. Yet swampland like this can quickly become overgrown and turn into wasteland. So human assistance is also needed to preserve the marsh. This is a young alder, which the buffalo don't eat. To make sure we don't end up with a big forest, I'm cutting it down. Back at the Dubritz Heath, Detlef Baumung and his team have attracted the wild horses with some carrots. They need to check whether the animals are healthy. Zhivalski horses are practically extinct in the wild, so projects like this one help preserve the 4,000 still in existence around the globe. Last year we sent two mares to Mongolia to help increase the population in their native land. 
There's now a herd again in the Hungarian Pusta. It's not very large yet, but its numbers are on the increase, so it's becoming a strong breed again. The area is completely surrounded by an electric fence, keeping the newly created wilderness clearly separated from civilization. That too is a form of nature conservation.